Now, please, please, let me advise you. As a young man, as a young woman, grow large in your spirit. Grow very large. Give yourself to fasting. Give yourself to prayer. The reason why you need to build intimacy with God is because of the day of trouble. If you, if you have him as a friend, and you know to build intimacy, it takes effort. You wake up in the morning, you begin to talk to him. You pray in tongues, you pray in tongues, when you pray in tongues for like 45 minutes, one hour, your spirit opens. Right? And if you have not been praying for a long time, you will need two hours. Because your spirit eh, is sleeping. Just like Jesus slept in the boat, Jesus can sleep in your life. So you need like two hours. And in those two hours, your soul will be noisy. Say, ah, yo God, yo God, yo God, vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. I can see La Montelli. <laughs> you just remember. Uh, uh, you, you should send this person a text. Send the person a text. Send the text. Send the text. Send the text. Send all those. All, all of that noise is inside them. And that's why, if you want to get serious, sometimes we need to give somebody your phone and then lock it. Let the person lock the door from outside, so that there's no hope of yielding to that noise. That noise is the barrier of the flesh. The flesh doesn't want you to experience life from the other side. Doesn't. Doesn't want you to experience life from the other side. And so when you cross that barrier, then you enter into a quiet space. That quiet space, you pray in tongues for like one hour, for like two hours, is quiet. There's no response. When you hit the third hour, then symbols will begin to appear. That's why strong men normally, minimum, they digest three hours of prayer a day. That's minimum. You don't have anything. You don't have any preaching. You don't have any. Just, just to live life. Three hours. You will invest in your spirit. If you are going to make a mark in life. Life is not natural. If by, by your brain, by what you studied in Harvard, you, you become a billionaire. I'm assuring you that if you switch on your spirit, you will become Babylonia in in a, a multi billionaire in your flesh you have your least potential but in your spirit you have your greatest potential so i labor for intimacy so that when i come into a situation that needs a response i, I talk to my friend i say i know how to, to i know what to do to my heart i know how to angulate it for me to hear him. if you cannot call his hand in you cannot do that now you are not a strong man if you cannot call him in now and he will respond to you you have invested in the wrong thing and you will never know until the day of trouble that evil day that demons that witches ganged up together against your destiny that's the day you will know whether you're, you were investing in the right thing because the bible says that he that falls in the day of adversity adversity will come adversity is not necessarily bad it is it is a revealer It means you are strong in the wrong thing. You are strong in gossip instead of prayer. You are strong in the knowledge that is in your soul instead of the knowledge that is in your spirit. If you can't call him and he responds to you, it means you don't have intimacy with him. You don't talk to him. Other things are more important to you than talking to him. I can take a walk and just discuss with him just stopped and then he now begins to tell me okay that person you prayed for that nothing happened this is why i will go back and write it down because i'm a researcher i need to build a body of truth that i can use to instruct people when you call him if he, if he doesn't respond he doesn't know your voice you've not yet acknowledged the fact that you are totally insufficient without his help so you have other help boosters apart from him so you are not strong in him the greatest investment you can do for yourself is to build that intimacy with him hallelujah i don't need to go to harvard to make millions all i need to do is i'll just go and cry then he will show me one thing to invest in that's how i because i don't have time to struggle in the marketplace like other people so he will just give me one insight and I've not been able to recover from the wisdom that his voice brings. You don't need to ask me to follow the Lord. I have seen how wonderful it is. This measured Christian life that you are doing, you are just convincing yourself that it's okay. 
coming to church and thinking that because you are born again you will not suffer i'm telling you that even in your calling in order for you to grow in your calling in order for you to be consistent in your calling there are sacrifices you must accept that this is my lot for life hmm. i know you don't like what i'm saying hmm. do you know what it means when the when the apostles say we'll give ourselves to the ministry of the word and prayer like someone that is keeping a shrine he dedicates the person to the shrine so he gives himself to the shrine what he becomes is a product of his dedication to that spirit what you become is a product of your dedication to prayer you were given to prayer